Um, I mean, I guess the, if, if that means like the policies in terms of like setting up a new organization and being able to operate. Um, I mean, we're still dealing with that every day. I mean, we're still, you're constantly having to go to new government institutions and get new papers and new letters. And it seems like I spend a lot of my time running around in circles, having meetings with different, every government institution that there is. And it's exhausting. It really is. I mean, it's a lot of paperwork and bureaucracy that goes into it. But I think at least in Rwanda, they're trying to build the systems that are pretty straightforward so that you know the, the permissions that you need and the paperwork that you need to operate there. And have you met many young entrepreneurs that are you know, that are from the U.S. That at all that are setting up similar businesses to make a difference and have really moved to the country and I was curious if there's any sort of network or anything like that. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, not as many who are setting up for-profit businesses, which is what Rwanda really needs. I mean, there's huge opportunity, not only in like the hospitality and tourism industry, but in the business community. There's so much opportunity for people to set up businesses there now, huge demand and, and growth in the country. So I'd say I wish there were more Americans that were helping build businesses and help support other small and medium enterprises. But but yeah, there are other Americans that are working either for, you know, working for the government or the embassy and then also setting up new organizations, but mostly nonprofit organizations, I have to say. 